And it wasn't until I met this guy called Tim who made two and a half million US dollars in one day that I realized I was playing the wrong game. The game that I was playing was how do I get better at my design skills so that I can outcompete against other designers based on my skill set, based on my experience, based on my portfolio. What I realized speaking to this guy was I had to change my perspective to realize that I was playing the great online game. So whether we're aware of it or not, we're all participants in this great online game. And the great online game is played by basically uploading our work, our content, everything that we need for our business to exist online so that other people can see it and see the potential value in it enough for them to come reach out, book a call with us and potentially invest with us. If you're new to the channel guys, I'm Patrick, the founder of ProfitableDesigner.com. We help designers master the art of more profitably selling their expertise so that they can charge bigger fees, take control of their business and build financial freedom. Everything that I share is about my own experience building a seven figure design business myself helping 14 other people get to seven figure run rates and over 140 people get to six and multiple six figures. So if you're new to the channel, feel free to like and subscribe. Let me just give you the definition of a video game here. It's literally a game played by electronically manipulating images produced by a computer program on a television screen or another display screen. So at a level fundamentally, all we are doing as business owners, if we work on our computers, is we're creating our designs online by manipulating images and then we're communicating our value, we're building our website, we're curating our social media profile and we're producing content, we're manipulating images on a screen. In order for somebody on the other side of the screen on their laptop or their computer to see what we're doing and to potentially see the value in it for them to take whatever our desired next steps are. That's a video game. And what Tim really emphasized to me is that we need to spend more time understanding the rules of that specific game. And that's what I really wanna get across here is that this online video game that we're all playing, the great online video game, is a game that has its own set of rules. So in order for somebody to see something on a screen, they need to pay attention to it and they need to pay attention to it long enough to actually see the value in potentially taking the next step. And the next step has to be valuable enough that it outweighs the cost of taking that step. And what I realized is that the people that understand the rules of the great online game are the ones that make the money because these are the people that actually know how to generate attention and monetize attention. And where I had gone wrong in my own, you know, eight years of trying to build my own design business on the side of a nine to five job was I was focusing on the craft and the delivery of the service instead of the art form of how to actually get people to pay for that service. So the minute that I understand I was playing the wrong game, it really just came down to recognizing that the greater online game that I was going to win at business in had its own set of rules and I had to spend more time focusing on and respecting those rules. So it's really how to get somebody to look at something online and see enough value in it to take the next step, which really comes down to capturing attention, it comes down to marketing skills, it comes down to selling skills, and it comes down to fundamentally understanding how to think like an entrepreneur. And it was the adoption of this idea of playing the wrong game that allowed me to start delving deeper into learning sales, learning marketing, learning entrepreneurial fundamentals. And this is what allowed me to learn the mechanics of what to upload so that I could generate the attention of my marketplace and hold that attention long enough so that they consider what it was that I was offering and see the value in it in order to book a call and ultimately run through a sales process and close. This is why I went from a nine to five job to 30K a month within literally 60 days because once you adhere to the rules of the greater online game, this is what allowed me to move from $2,000 per month to $30,000 per month, because now instead of just respecting the game of how do I deliver great work, I was respecting the greater game that my design expertise would have to be sold in. And this perfectly explains why a lot of designers who are multi-award winning 
have the most impressive portfolios, can build very little momentum in a business, and then people can literally burst onto the scene at the age of 19 or 20. And you know, we've got an 18 year old in our training program that's already at $25,000 per month with basically no experience. It all comes down to whether you respect the great online game or not. And that really just brings the, the big question, which is how do you wanna think about the game? How do you play the game? The first thing is to just recognize that you are a player in the greater game that we're all playing online. Instead of just playing the game of trying to climb the design skills hierarchy, because unfortunately in my own experience, having worked with a lot of design business owners privately and spoken to a lot of design business owners as well, there's no correlation between how good somebody's craft is and their business revenue. So the first thing you wanna do is really respect the game and understand that the real game you're in is the game of capturing attention and monetizing attention. The next thing that you wanna do is continually obsess over the rules of the great online game. So you need to develop a very strong understanding of marketing. You need to develop a very strong understanding of selling. You need to develop a very strong understanding of how to manage a business, how to reach out to people, how to build offers, uh, how to build systems and processes, and the list goes on. And ultimately the best way to do this is to recognize that you're not just a participant in the game of selling design services, that you need to acquire all of these skill sets and point of views and perspectives from outside of the design space and you need to start speaking to people that are doing really well in another industry and try to pull apart what is it about the way that they're doing and really pull apart what is it about the way they're operating that is doing so well in the great online game and how can I really apply those things to my own situation? Because fundamentally all of us, all we're doing every single day is clicking the button on our mouse and we're tapping keys on our keyboard and the ones that do that in the best sequence and order are the ones that ultimately can go and buy a house with the money that they've generated. Ultimately your earning capacity in your design business will be directly proportional to how far you can step away from just the design industry and move into a respect for the greater online game that we're all playing. And the reason I think that this is such a powerful perspective to adopt as a design business owner is it forces you to consider other business models and pull apart what other people are doing in other industries with a respect for at a level, you're all kind of playing a similar game. And this is what will allow you to acquire information outside of the design space that'll have all of the greatest impact when you, you know, put that into your own design business as well. And I find that a lot of the biggest epiphanies that I've had in my own design business have come from having conversations and exploring and pulling apart what I see people doing in other industries and bringing it into the design space. And that idea of bringing something from a space and bringing it into another space that hasn't seen it before, this is basically the idea of innovation. But the thing is you can take this idea here, but it's not enough because at the end of the day, you need to apply the energy and the effort and you need to be continually optimizing everything that you're doing and it takes quite a bit to win. And this is what we're gonna take you through next, which is really all about what it takes to win in the design space. So I'll see you on that one next.